Uh, I've been a mayor in the past year since 1995 and re-elected as mayor last uh, last year 2022. Actually, my childhood has been here in Dagohoy uh, since birth, and my parents are also residents here in Dagohoy and. My father wanted me to become a doctor of medicine since childhood. But actually, my first, uh, uh, my first priority, my what I want when I was in the child is to become an engineer because my favorite subject when I was since elementary was mathematics. Uh, but my father wanted me to become a doctor. That is why I followed his wish. Uh, working with Mayor, um, we are given the instruction to always be polite. At saka, uh, we are given the instruction of uh, having it first come, first serve basis. Kung sino yung nauna, siya talaga yung uh, mauuna sa line, except for um, urgent situations, of course. As a first time uh, Sangguniang Bayan, dito ko talaga nakita na ang rami palang problema dito sa lungsod namin sa Daguhoy. And I'm very thankful na ang mayor namin is Mayor Dr. Hermie Rilampagos because he's a very genuine and down-to-earth person. Supportive talaga siya, lalo na first time ako, tas willing to teach siya kung anong gagawin sa isang first-timer. After we are doing my practice in my clinic, almost every day, if ever I am in Daguhoy, I think we have to improve the uh, health system. We need to have to purchase more, uh, we have to acquire more laboratory equipment, uh, medicine, and more health personnel in order to improve our uh, health program. Now, the mobile clinic that was given by the Petro Green is helping us a lot because it is our uh, transport uh, vehicle in going to the barangays. I have been using that for many, many times. Uh, using the mobile clinic, I can bring my equipment to the barangay, the accepting consultations, and also doing some uh, minor surgery. Uh, maybe it's my passion because I have been doing this before. Right after I was having a license as doctor, when I was working in Cebu, I have been doing this. Wah, did me kalimtin ni Mayor sa pagtanda dire. Tungod sa iyang kaayo na mo, iyang gitabangan mini ja dire sa pagatiman sa mga pasyente. Og nagpasalamat sa kung dakto niya. Being his wife, I support I say 100% of his work being a mayor and a doctor. Uh, actually, uh, we have uh, elementary school in all barangays, the all 15 barangays, and we have two high schools. One is here, Daguhi National High School, which was established about 50 years ago. And the other one is in the barangay, the San Miguel Puerto High School, established 10 years ago during my time. Way back 2009, ata yon. Si Mayor Hermie Rilampagos na po yung mayor, napaka-supportive. So hindi pa ako nakapasok sa Department of Education. I was able to organize a SPED with, of course, the support of the municipal mayor, Mayor Hermie Rilampagos. Aside from being a SPED teacher, uh, nagtuturo din po ako sa alternative learning system. Uh, in fact po, meron na po tayo dito sa Daguhoy na nakapagtapos ng al true alternative learning system. Nakapagpasa sila sa A&E accreditation test. Uh, nakapasa siya na isa siyang pharmacist ngayon. So, we need more classrooms, more uh, staff, more teachers, and more facilities for the school. And I am happy that the Petro Green, which is in Daguhoy, is, is also an advocate of education because it is also my, uh, it is also my uh, dream to have an improved education system in our town. We, uh, we hope, as a teacher also, together with the community, we hope that our students, our learners, will be ignited, will have more passion in science with the help 
of this solar power plant using that as a template or as a springboard you will become excited become more adventurous in terms of choosing courses which is related in renewable power para nako ma'am nako kayo ni nga opportunity nga gihatag sa petro green kay ako enthusiast gigo og kuan kanang clean and green nga energy para nako to good to be true ma'am kay kanang nindot jud ni siya nga opportunity usahay ra ni siya mo abot pero impactful kayo As I am convinced that Kurisim is also a good economic driver hmm. because I have visited other areas. I have visited uh, El Nido, Palawan, Boracay, Tagaytay, even uh, outside the country, Guam. Uh, their number one source of uh, income is tourism. So the livelihood of the people are based on tourism. So that uh, I think at least the progress of the economy will be fast if the tourism will be improved. Now, I am planning to improve our potential tourism sites, like the tourist sea of clouds, we have caves here, caves, and also spring. So, we budgeted funds for the improvement of our sea of clouds. Considering that for how many years uh, we are very uh, we are struggling about this uh, problem, uh, water condition. So for us to to meet this uh, development, the Sangguni Ang Bayan of the Gohoy, the Council, the Committee on Infrastructure, even the committee, we created the first uh, time na nakreate po natin yung Committee on Water System. And another challenge here in our municipal municipality is the farm to market road. Marami talaga mga sirang daan dito sa Minukar. Uh, I have to start first with my goal, with my target of, the one, of being the mayor here in Dagohoy. Uh, my priority is that uh, we have to improve the economic condition of the town and also uplift the uh, standard of livelihood of the quality of living of the people here in Dagohoy. To improve the economic condition, also the quality of life, is to have more investors to come in in Dagohoy. I think this is the faster way, faster way of uh, improving the condition. So, to have more koan, to have more investors coming here, we must have a stable power supply. Uh, we have a stable water, water supply, and also the improve the peace and order condition of the area. Petro Green is very vital, very important. One, my number one uh, criteria in order to have the more the sort the power supply, because Bohol, uh, the one of the at least the primary problem of Bohol is the uh, source of uh, power. So power uh, Petro Green is very important. It can help a lot to the power supply, not only the Guhoy, but the entire Bohol. Oh, there are one. Usually, there's a shortage of one electricity. Yeah. There will, uh, sometimes there will be brownouts, uh, blackout that will last for days, not only hours, days. Especially if there are calamities. As of now, we are dependent. Our our solar sort of power is dependent on from Lite. If ever there are uh, calamities in Bohol or in Lite, the Bohol province will suffer. Like for example, the typhoon. Uh, it took us many months to recover to have a uh, power supply. Bumalik po ako dito sa Vicente kasi dito po yung ano ko eh. Pamilya ko tapos dito ko po ginagamit yung napag-aralan ko. Sa tingin ko po, meron na pong opportunity na makapagtrabaho na po yung mga tao dito kasi dumating na po yung Petro Green dito po. Meron na pong mapagkakitaan yung mga tao. Nagpapasalamat ako sa ano, Petrogreen po na pinili po yung San Vicente na tayuan po ng solar project dito. Kasi 
Nagawa na po ng kalsa yung kalsada namin po. <laughs> Thank you po. Mayroon tayo mga partners sa executive at sa legislative na talagang tumututok sa trabaho at saka nakita ko yung design nila na uh, sama-sama kaming maiangat with the help, with the grace of God this community will become very uh, great uh, and uh, progressive community the municipality of the Gohoy. The Petro Green uh, giving uh, investment through the project solar power project in this municipality so that's great and uh, big uh, development in our municipality Mabuhay!